takes the Norwegians up into third place, but we're nowhere near the end, of course, of this round of rides. Heat 11 is Denmark versus Germany. Again, Ries in red, Klaus Lausch in blue. They've swapped positions on the grid. In white, Hans Nielsen. In yellow and black, Jan O. Pedersen. The Danes are aware of the Swedish challenge. Pedersen was looking to his inside, two bike lengths off the grid, and he goes around the outside, takes up formation with his teammates, and we're off, are we, for another Danish exhibition. Lovely leg trailing style from Jano Pedersen, a man not noted for his textbook starts, it has to be said. Beautiful stuff. Jan O oh, somewhat agitatedly looking around to see what's going on. And we heard, by the way, from the pits, the reason he stopped in heat four was a plug lead. Nothing more than a spark plug lead coming adrift. And the thoughts that that could do, do for your world championship hopes is almost too much to bear, isn't it? But here come the Danes. The Germans have been well and truly blown off here. Textbook team riding, not without some agitation, judging by the way the Danes are looking over their shoulders. Close formation, Nielsen on the inside, Pedersen on the outside, and Reese chases forlornly as the Danes 5-1 heat 11. Takes them on to 18 points, the Swedes are on 15, but the Swedes don't ride for a while. We now have Norway versus Oland. Dolmasiewicz is in red. Zawuski is in blue. Gunnarstad in white and Kylingstad in yellow. And from the outside, Gunnarstad comes across to drive round the outside, take up formation with Kylingstad, his teammate. But the man in red, Richard Dolmasiewicz, has shown himself to be willing to try for all four laps. And he's going to have a go here in heat 12 against the Norwegians. Trying desperately to seek some sort of way between. Now this is what team riding is meant to do, you see. Stop the man in third place finding anywhere to go. White is Gunnarstadt, yellow is Killingstadt. At the start of the programme saying he hoped that Norway could get on the roster, well they started disastrously, but they are now looking at a second successive 5-1, so maybe it's not a forlorn hope. What the goal was the image? Oh, I thought he was through there, and so did the crowd. What can he do? Not a lot as the flags fly. What a shame for the home crowd. I thought Domasiewicz was going to split the Norwegians, but he didn't. 5-1. Right, heat 30. Italy versus Italy. Bolognetto on the inside. Gets pushed out by Castagna in white. In yellow, coming around the outside, it's Lausch. Bolognetto in red is third. Sorry, Castagna's in blue, isn't he? Yellow is Lausch, and his teammate on the inside in white is Reith. The Germans are at the front. The Italians in third and fourth. The Germans who are in third place after the opening two rides look like they're going to 5-1 this heat. do have this nicely stitched up. We'll do their hopes of a roster of no harm whatsoever. Heat 13, 5-1 to Germany, takes them on to 13 points. Heat 14, Czechoslovakia versus Sweden. Well in red. Tesarch in blue versus Johnson and Nielsen is in in yellow. Nielsen in yellow, but round to the outside goes Bovell. Has he got him? 
Whoa, what a move. What a brave man this is. Johnson in white. Takes up the chase, does he? He's going to leave it to Nielsen in yellow. But this will undo the damage. As far as Denmark are concerned, if Bo Brell, the Czech, can put it over on the Swedes. In red, Bo Brell. Woo! Bochumil Brell, to give him his full name, looks like he has this heat won from the Swedes, from the team that are leading the World Pairs Championship at the moment. Chasing in white is Per Jonsson, the individual world champion, the reigning world champion. And Nielsen, Jimmy Nielsen is in third. Uh, Taysarch, Sultan Taysarch is tailed off in blue at the back. Woo! But so, as that alters the picture, 18 all now at the top of the championship. 18 points each for Denmark and Sweden. Well, well, after four rides, and in third, it's equal between Norway and Denmark. Join us again in a moment. 